what's going on everybody today we are taking a look at my NBA wish list and it's not my wish list but it's a wish list put together and being promoted by 2k rosters uh, also 2k rosters.com so if you guys don't know the creator of this page is the infamous NY he is the mastermind behind this page and also the he's the guy the the engine behind so many uh so many community projects these last few years within my league and my nba even this year he has put together high school rosters he's put together uh he's put together player creation profiles all kinds of things to help the community out so let's take a look at what he's got we're going to go over to the website here and he says how to turn my NBA into a true next gen experience NBA 2K22 wish list. Alright, so before I begin reading this, I'm not sure if I'm gonna split the video up or not, but we're gonna get into this and I'll read some of what I see on the screen. I'm not gonna read every little detail. We're gonna read some of what I see on the screen and kind of interject my opinion. Now this piece is it's it's a good size uh, article actually it's not short I wouldn't say it's short but uh, it's a moderate length and he does provide a good number of references and screenshots stuff like that so let's jump into this now if you don't want to sit through this whole video which you know you don't have to do but uh, it would help me out if you did <laughs> If you don't want to sit through this whole video, the link will not be in the description. What you can do is you can go over to Twitter and you can do a search for 2K underscore rosters and look through those tweets and find this. And yeah, no, I won't be linking, will not be providing the link in the description or it, it is possible that uh, the infamous NY has this uh, on his channel. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I won't be providing the link in the description, so you'll have to do a little bit of work on your own. Uh, anyway, let's get started. My NBA was introduced into next gen NBA 2K21, combining all the elements of my GM and my league into one customizable experience. But deep down, I guess he meant to say deep down to the core elements. Oh no, he's saying, but deep down, the core elements are the same the good and the bad. I'm going to break down what this mode needs to take it to the next level. All right. So he starts with the general and he says cross platform rosters. Now, right off the bat, that's no joke. We need cross platform rosters. It's a shame that we don't have that. Um, it kind of divides the community. It's also one of the, I would say, in my opinion, of course, it's one of uh, one of the reasons why we don't have as many people playing the franchise mode as could be. Because if you could carry over those rosters, there would be a lot less work that people need to do. They could go in and get rosters downloaded a lot quicker. Uh, there's teams of people who create rosters that could get it done a lot quicker and um, That would be magnificent. But anyway, it says give users the opportunity to play content made by the community regardless of what platform they are on Improve the free agency logic now. I'm not even going to go into this one because I simply uh, I'm not gonna say I don't care but for me, improving the free agency logic is mm, its going to be hit or miss. It's going to be hit or miss because when you look at the way the NBA evolves, there, there's no way that uh, the game is going to be able to realistically portray sudden changes that can take place in the real world. So like COVID. You know, COVID can affect free agency in certain ways. But that that may never be reflected in the game. And plus, I re it always works like this. So you'll have a game, and then 
you'll see stuff where people say hey this would never happen in real life and then a few years later you see stuff happen like that all the time in the NBA whatever it might be so uh, this one eh, I mean yeah I would like it to be improved but can we really measure that tangibly I don't know I mean maybe we can I don't know but I'm not all that concerned about improving the free agency logic especially when I can just put people on the teams I want them on so for me personally don't care about that one uh, fix in-game injuries they don't exist eh. I won't say I don't care about that one but it's not a deal breaker for me but it would be nice to see that and then he says overall boost for players throughout seasons should be toned down especially for those that barely get minutes I could agree with that improve the logic of trades majority of CPU trades are just doing a trade just to do a trade eh, I can agree with that I'd rather have yeah I'd rather have there be some you know some uh, understandable logic behind the trades then I would work you know I'd rather them worry about that than worry okay. well anyway yeah I'd like to have the uh, I'd rather there be logical explanations for some of the CPU trade um, I'd rather that take precedence over the free agency portion because you can have the greatest free agency and most realistic most realistic free agency and then those players very same players get traded away so um, anyway let's move on add dynamic player tendencies I'm not even going to go into this one well I guess I will. Dynamic player tendencies should change organically throughout a career. For example, a big like Brooke Lopez came into the league as a post-up player, but by year nine in his NBA career, he started to shoot threes, and those shot attempts increased each year. Aging players should see a decrease in their dunking tendency and an increase in their layup tendency as they get into their mid-30s. Uh, he says, unless you're LeBron, I would love to see some cool random dynamic ten tendencies uh, throughout my simulations. Imagine what year 10 Ben Simmons three-point tendencies could be. Uh, I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't like to see random dynamic player tendencies. Uh, I believe if they had some type of slider or something, maybe, but then, you know, how could you incorporate that into the real into the real players within the roster because uh, in reality we don't know what Ben Simmons is going to become in year 10 so um, yeah incorporating the sliders for tendencies and stuff like that probably wouldn't be a good idea but that the slider portion is my idea just me interjecting or adding on to his his point but he said with the dynamic player tendencies that he's talking about are more so a little bit randomized. Maybe they're not exactly randomized, but they're a little bit randomized um, to add some variation to your league and to allow players to grow into realistic, you know, player types. But I don't know, man. I could just see it going horribly wrong with it having, you know, a little bit of randomness. And then I could just see it going all bad. So I just don't. Nah. For me personally, it's a no. I don't care about this part. I could because I just don't see how 2K could get it right. But I see a lot of ways they could get it wrong. And uh, they've proven in the past that something like this probably wouldn't get incorporated in a healthy fashion. So I just rather leave it alone. Now, if they could get it, and it could be usable, workable, um, makes sense, that would be lovely. But, don't see it happening. Alright, he says, give coaches a numbered base attribute system that includes an overall similar to the players. 
let a coach with a good overall really make a difference and fire by the team. And offensive and defensive tendencies, you know what, I just, to be honest, I can't keep reading that. Add female coaching staff options. And, yeah, as far, as far as the coaching stuff, I would like to see some, you know, improvements, but as far as what he said, I don't I don't feel any kind of way. I don't feel negative or positive about it. Most of the stuff, you know, I just don't feel like 2K could implement properly, especially not anytime soon and for various reasons, but you know, I could be wrong. I very well could be wrong. Anyway, I'm getting tired over here. All right, improve the improve the auto-generated draft class attributes and tendencies. Let's see. All right, let's get a preview of what we could potentially draft by adding playable workouts like solo shoot arounds, one on ones, five on five for draft prospects in our loaded draft classes. Now, this is something that was in the game in the past, and whenever something was in the game in the past. Uh, in the past and we are asking for it back I always wonder why it may have been taken out or taken away and again this is something that was in the past that we had even a game like NBA Live had this in the past so I'm not really sure why it was taken out and at times I have wanted this to be in the game um it would be nice. I'm not going to object to this one because it's something that would be nice and I've thought about myself. So, it says revamp the draft day presentation and give us more exciting experience. A more exciting experience. Okay. Similar to how it was in my career a few games back. Let us see the lottery picks at least walk on stage and shake Adam Silver's hand. This one, I think, you know, after one or two prospects, I think people will just skip it anyway. Same way people do now. Uh, this is one of those tricky things because after you see the presentation for the first time, then it kind of becomes like, eh, you know, I don't really care. I don't really care about the presentation, but, you know, maybe... There's a chance that, um, that I, I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was going to say there. I had something, and then I started relating my point to something else, and then I just got lost on the original point. Anyway, I, I'm not even sure what I just said because I might have messed up. But um, anyway, let's see. Improve retirement logic. Boy, I'm getting tired. All right, I'm trying to make sure I read through this. I've already read through this actually, but um, yeah, I probably need to break this video up just for the sake of clarity because he has some good points. And since I am getting so tired, probably better stop right here because I'm gonna mess all my points up that uh, I was thinking of, and then. I'm just going to be talking nonsense. <laughs> like I'm literally yawning and getting very tired. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop right here. And I've given you guys my thoughts so far on this list. I'm going to try and come back with a part two. May not be tomorrow, maybe the day after. But then again, it could be tomorrow. So, we're going to see. I'm going to try to come back with part two, like I said. And uh, we'll go from there. So, until next time, I'm the goods and I'm out.